Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. I hope you have a nice day today. Today we are having another very very adorable video where we actually open up two of the mini or the small size sewing toy, which is the Kurumi sewing toy and the My Melody sewing toy. And if you look at my video previously, you know that I have already um. Open up the M size My Melody and Kurumi sewing toys and have given them beautiful, adorable dresses for their um for them to actually uh wear. So this time round will very much be the same. But before we go to this video, I thought it's quite important to share with you um early June uh this year. I think Senio Japan has carried out a rating to see who is actually the champion or the top 10 or the top 90 actually. Top 90 um, characters in the Senio uh, family. And I thought to share with you guys in this uh, video itself. So just bear with me. Here you go. Ta da! So for 2023 Senio character ranking, the first one that we have is Cinnamon Roll. Second one is Pong Pong Purin. And the third one is Kurumi. Yay! The Kurumi that I like is number three this year. So let's just look quickly at their ranking itself. So Cinnamon Roll has 4.4 million people supporting him. Pong Pong Purin have 3.7 people supporting him. And Kurumi have 3.6 million people supporting her. So let's just see the rest of the rating for the top 10. So top 10 you have on the 4th place is Ponchako. 5th place is Hello Kitty. And the 6th place is My Melody. Yay! And on the 7th place is Hong Yong Gun. And then the 8th place is Little Twin Stars. Number 10, number 9 is actually Tuxedo Sam. And number 10 is Bad Bass Maru. I hope I got his name right. So this is the rating. And if you are interested in the actual rating that happens in the website itself, go to Senior Japan um, website. You will see the top 10 and the rating go all the way down and even cover different countries. I thought that is something that you might be interested in. So without further ado, let's just quickly jump into our video today and I'll open up these um, sewing toys and I'll show you uh, what they are in details and we start dressing them up. Alright, I got them out from the plastic bag. As usual, let's just start with my melody first, shall we? Okay, this my melody is very, very different. This, um, I would say small size my melody is very different from the medium size my melody is just because the material they use is different. This is a very short for my melody design. Well, you still have the same, um, color eyes and the nose that they use for this design and then they still have the bow that you will see in the M side design and very much you still have these small little show, uh, sewing bits where you can put something on her hand itself nothing changed too much that is the label here you go and that's what it is inside really nothing changed much except that She's smaller in size. I think the M size My Melody sewing toys is around 15 centimeter height. And this is around 12 centimeter height. As you can see, it's not bigger than my palm itself. Very, very small and adorable. That's the back of it. And of course, that's the label itself. 2023. Okay, look at it. And of course, she's extremely adorable. We will have a hard time deciding which dress that she'll be wearing next. But that is my melody here. And of course, yep, this is the board that she's sitting, she's going to be sitting onto. And as usual, if you watch my previous video, if not, that's fine. Um, this is actually a magnetic board. So she just sat, uh, she just stuck on it and 
this magnet will help her stand properly. Otherwise, I think usually such a thin, skinny toy can't stand on its own. But this board helped them stand properly. So that's how it is for my melody. Stand properly, please. Next, we have Kurumi sewing toy. Yay! So this Kurumi sewing toy is the same. It has very short fur. I would prefer the more luxurious fur that you see in the M size sewing toy. This S size sewing toy is much smaller, 12 centimeter tall, like what I've said. And basically, the fur is also much lesser. Uh, I would love to see them in long fur, but they're still adorable. Don't get me wrong. Look at them. They're so adorable. But I'll prefer the longer fur version, which I already have also. So nothing is lost. So I have the M size sewing toy and also the S size sewing toy now. So the back of um, Kurumi looks like this. She has a classic look. And that is her label here. So they look just like the M size sewing toys. And then of course Kurumi come with her own magnetic board. And this magnetic board is purple in color, while my melodies is actually pink in color, just matching the t the the door itself. So this one, as you can see, boop, go oh, it stick on its own. Look, so this is uh, one of the feature for the sewing toy that is they actually can stand on the sewing board is uh, also. I'll call it so important. Stand on the base itself. <laughs> All right. Um, with that, that I've introduced the door. Let's look at the dresses, shall we? This is gonna be so difficult because I like both dresses. Okay, like what I say, when you buy these kind of sewing toys, it's very important you get the right sizes. So this is for S size sewing toy. So you can actually get it. And put on an S size sewing toy without an issue. If you happen to get an M size dresses, you still might be able to put on an S size sewing toy. It's just that it's gonna be huge. This picture does say Kurumi can wear this. Well, well, look at this one. Kurumi is also wearing this. So what should my melody wear? This is funny. Okay, this one doesn't really tell you in the cut itself. It's for an S size sewing toy. But we can actually see that this is actually um, about the same. Oh, this is might be slightly bigger. It could be for an M size sewing toy. But you know what? We'll just try it out and see whether it fits this S size sewing toy. Let me see whether it does say anywhere here. Nah, he didn't say anywhere here that it's actually for an S, S size sewing toy or an M size sewing toy. You know what? We can try it out, definitely. Let's just try this one out on my melody and see whether she can fit into this little dress. Alright, shall we? I'll just take them out first and then I'll dress up my melody and then I'll show you. Alright, look at this! Looking at how fitting this is, definitely for an S size sewing toy. So as you can see, this is not very long. And as I was putting on this dress, right, I can see that it's already quite tight. Can you see that? It's so fitting. My melody might have to go on a diet to wear this dress. So it's definitely not able to fit in a M size sewing toys. Oh, I really like how her head is so rounded. <laughs> and this dress looks so lovely on her. Okay, I'm going to fluff up the dress a little bit so she looks a little bit more adorable. Look at the bow. I actually have the bow centerized because you already have two bow on the side. So I put this on the center. All I did was just to put this um, ribbon all the way on the back of his head or of her head. So it actually secure quite nicely. Look at her. Doesn't she look so adorable in this dress? I think she does. All right. Let's just put her aside here. All right. That is what um, the cardboard looked like once I took off the dresses. So the other one, we shall fit it onto Ma, Ma Kurumi. I keep on saying my melody. Could put on to Kurumi and see how she looks like. Hold on, first, let me just get them out, dress up Kurumi, and I'll show you very, very shortly. 
All right, I have Kurumi all dressed up in this beautiful lolly tag kind of style dresses. And you know what? I think um, this is really the right sizes. If you buy this packaging that looks like this, this is really the right size for the um, S-size sewing toys because um, the way that the dress is being um, dressed up, you know, there's a lot of dresses that are out for a different door. Not necessarily for um, Sanyo uh, product like this Kurumi product or My Melody product. The dress for uh, Sanyo product is always been tear all the way downwards. And this dress itself, although I managed to actually dress um, My Melody in it, I realized that it's a bit too tight. Like maybe it's for other sewing toys that may have the same size as these um, sewing toys as size, but I don't think it's extremely suitable. But this is definitely suitable for Kurumi. As you can see, she dressed quite nicely in it. And look at the dress itself. The little apron and the ribbon matches so nicely. And she looks extremely, extremely adorable, isn't it? Well, I, I can't help it. I think she looks fantastic in it. Okay, so if you look back in this My Melody dress, the dress is also nice, but as you can see that the back of this dress itself is only halfway through. So this dress is actually so all the way down here. So you can't open up this part. And if you see the back of My Melody, you know that she's sort of going to break through <laughs> from this clothes being too tight. And if you see this, like, the, the one that we had here again, it's been built for this kind of uh, doors because you can see that there's still space on the dress on the dress itself. So I got a feeling that um this might not be really meant for a uh, um senior product sewing toy, but of course once they market it in, market it, uh market this in this way and put into a package like this, you would think that it would suit a uh, sewing toy for. My melody, you can squeeze them in. Um, send your product, I mean, you can squeeze them in, but they are not a good fit, I would say. If you buy it in this fashion, yes, it's a good fit. But nevertheless, I managed to dress these two girls um, into very beautiful blue dresses. Look at them. Comment below, like what we always say, comment below and tell me who wears it better. Who looks better in blue? Is it Kurumi? Is it my melody? So let me know in the comment below which one would you prefer. So I have really come to the end of my video on this sewing toy. I'm totally enjoying it and I hope that you enjoy it too. So with that, that's the end of my video and I would appreciate if you could subscribe to my channel share my channel with your friends and family and if you could put a like on this video it will give me so much confidence to continue sharing the videos that i love with you all so with that till we see each other again in my next video see ya